I just released a review of the Time Factors Persistent G10 a couple of weeks ago, but I just wanted to make some small marks and refine it a bit, and in the end, show the watch and the wrist with some strap changes. Hope you enjoy it. With pins, like most watches utilizes, you can actually put on a bracelet and a leather brand. And you can always take the pins in and out as you want to and always fix the bracelet or the leather band. With fixed bars, you can only put something through like a NATO strap. So it's fixed, nothing can be changed other than the NATO strap. I'll show it a bit later what this means. I just also want to mention it has drill locks, which is amazing for easy strap change. And I think most watches should come with drill locks because it just makes life so much easier. The second thing I want to mention is that putting on third party straps, NATO straps, other than the ones from Time Factors, can actually be a bit hard because the lock to case is very small. As you might see in this shot compared to this other watch. It's not a huge deal, but if you have thicker NATO straps that you really want to use with the watch, it might be a bit difficult to get through. With that said though, when you do get a NATO strap through, it feels very secure and comfortable and very well supported, which I actually enjoyed. I have taken the NATO strap off the watch, so you can see the watch in its appearance form, and I like to do that with some of the watches. Uh, to be able to see the intrinsic value of the watch and also the beautiful machinery that a lot of the watches nowadays presents. We are going to put on three straps or bands to showcase how it looks, but also the fact that it might be a bit hard to put on a third party NATO strap. As you can see, I'm trying to put on this black third party NATO strap and it's not really going through, that's what she said. But the thing is, I just given up. So I'm just gonna let it be. I'm just gonna rewind it through so you can see how the process is very, very strenuous. Hopefully uh, you get an indication of that. You can get it through because I've done that, uh, which is no, it's not the biggest deal, but I just lost my patience here. The original strap is, is way easier to get through and obviously because the company Time Factors probably made it specifically for that watch and uh, it feels very good quality as well, I just want to mention that. But um, yeah, I'm going to get some wrist shots and I'm probably just going to let this video run through so you can get an indication of how to put on a NATO strap uh, if you have not done that before. Let's move on to a leather strap and this has quick links so I don't have to fiddle with the, the links. I can just, just click it in and it works. I'm gonna show you guys some wrist shots and um, 
so you can get an indication of how it looks uh, with a little, a little band, a different, different scenario, and it kind of dresses up well, I think. Um, I don't know what you guys think. For the last shots, I'm just gonna show you guys some different shots and angles of the watch on the wrist, so you can see how an eight strap looks with the watch. Uh, in general, just how the watch looks on the wrist. My wrist is eight inches, fairly big, and the watch is only 37.1 inches in diameter. So um, it might be a bit small for, for modern standards, but you know, I prefer um, I would say sub 40 millimeter watches, even though I have a wrist of 40 millimeters. No, sorry, eight, eight millimeters, not eight inches, I'm sorry. But uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to comment. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I have some music that I put out, original music, so hopefully you guys will give that a spin. If not, enjoy these videos. I'm going to put out more because it's been very fun to make. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit hard, but hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, followed the journey. Be well, and uh, see you next time. Appreciate it. Thank you. And in metaphors, you'll be my last page on a book I know I want.